Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, there's some key information that I want to go over with you guys today. And then I have a little bit of exciting news. Well, I wouldn't say a little bit of exciting news, but very, very, very uh, exciting news. We have some opportunities uh, in our company that I want to share with you. Um, but today, as we get started, um, hey, Jacqueline, uh, Proverbs 31, how you doing? Great passage, Franco, there on Facebook. Read, what's that, read, read, team? Oh, REI Dream Team, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. See, I graduated from college, but I still can't read sometime. <laughs> yes, 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 thank you, uh, REI Dream Team, glad you guys are good. All right, so what I want to go over real quick, this is our two-minute meetup for this week, uh, is what is title insurance? Uh, so when you get your HUD statement and before you close that deal, the title company wants to issue title insurance. So what is title insurance? Title insurance is very, very important. And the reason why I bring this up this week is because I would always like to bring something to the table that we are dealing with and that way we can address it with you guys. So everything that I give you and bring to you is very, very fresh. Yeah. So on this week, we are set to close the deal next week and um, the property didn't go through probate. So our attorney is doing everything that we can to get everything closed. So, but the title insurance will not provide, I mean, the title company will not provide title insurance. So why is title insurance so important? Title insurance is important is because if you don't have a clean and marketable title, the title company will not insure that title to your end buyer. So what that means is, let's just say if there was a probate situation or a situation that didn't go through probate, so the seller died intestate, so that's without a will. And let's just say the family members are now the heirs. Well, the title insurance will, the title company will not insure that title company unless they have a chain of custody to clarify that no other family member that's associated with the deceased will come back and try and go after that property. That way your end buyer, when they do that fix and flip, they are secure knowing that the title is completely clear and that they will be able to sell that property afterwards. So this is the key thing about title insurance. And this is some of the things that you have to be able to communicate with your sellers because they don't understand. Only thing they saying is, hey, my mom or my dad passed away. I'm the only child. I'm the rightful heir. Yes, you are, but they have to show a chain of custody or chain of ownership on that title so be mindful of this guys make sure you're able to explain it to your sellers when that issue come up again this is something that we're dealing with we're trying to get this transactions this transaction closed i actually had to do this before on a deal here in phoenix and it we had to extend that closing out about two months but we did get it closed and we made, I think on that one, it was like twelve dollars to $15,000. I can't remember. But if we wasn't able to clear that title, then we wouldn't have been able to sell that transaction. So you have to be patient and you have to work with your sellers on some of these issues that they're dealing with. And remember, this is one thing that our attorney always tell us is if it was easy and the and the title didn't have any hair on it, they would have been sold that property. So again, you have to be in a position of a problem solver. So remember, be that problem solver, be that answer for them because they don't know what they, they don't know a lot of times what they need to do. So again, it's more than just getting a property under contract for X, finding a buyer for Y, and gaining your wholesale fee at Z. There's a lot of minutia in between that you guys have to be able to understand 
on how to do. You know exactly, you have to do your homework. So sometimes you have to do and go the extra mile and take extra steps. That's what we require for our acquisitions managers and disposition managers is if you come to a problem where there's a red flag on title and the transaction coordinator lets you know, now we have to do a little bit of extra work in order to get that deal done. But at the end of the day, it's not about us, it's about solving that problem for the seller because that's exactly what we said that we would do is solve their problem, okay? So remember, that is the importance of title insurance. Now, for some very, very, very exciting news that I wanna share with you guys, we are in the midst of looking for acquisition specialists. So we are hiring at the moment, it's a 100% commission position, um, and you do not have to live in the markets where we're marketing to. But if you're energetic, you're a high eye uh, yeah. personality, and you can close over the phone, we're definitely looking for more people to help us out because we're expanding. We're going bigger, bigger, and bigger, even in the midst of everything that's going on right now. So I will share with you, I'll be able to provide you with a link um, where you can go and apply, and there'll be a video of me, and I'll be explaining everything. So you'll be able to go there and apply. A lot of our acquisitions managers, I mean, it's an opportunity for you to make $50,000 and apply yes! easily closing some of these deals uh, that we have. Uh, so if you're interested, you know what? Do me a favor. If you're interested, just jump into my DMs, let me know, and then that way I'll be able to get that link out to you or my assistant, Wilma, will be able to get that link out to you. So um, that's the exciting news. Don't forget, guys. I mean, we need more activity on our podcast. Podcast is going great. I mean, we have some high level individuals and investors there. Um, I just joined a mastermind where every wholesaler and every flipper in there is doing over $1.2 million annually. So I'm gonna be bringing some of those guests on the show. We'll be talking about some of the problems and issues that they're having and how they're solving those issues. And remember, all of them started from right where you may be right now, and that's closing maybe one or two deals a month or maybe one or two deals a year, but they put the right systems in place, got the right people around them, and now they're closing you know, nearly 100 deals a year. So if you want that to be you, I advise you, highly advise you, to listen to the podcast. That's the We Love Equity Real Estate Show. And while you're there, you might as well give us, you know, a five-star review. Yup, I'm begging for reviews. I want to climb up the charts so I can get the real information out to more people like you guys. So that's it. It's Marcus Maloney signing off. You guys know what to do. Always remember to enjoy the journey. I enjoy you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you on Friday for our um, Fun Fact Friday. I got a great fun fact for you uh, that'll help you in your business. Okay, enjoy your evening. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you.